hey you and so when this video is posted i have no subscribers and if you enjoy please do subscribe so i know to continue making more videos Obviously, don't do drugs, but I did because they were prescribed. So fast forward a few years ago, and it's my freshman year of high school. I'm a skinny man-child. My family has blessed me with fast metabolism, so when I eat a whole pizza, I gain negative 5 pounds. My primary sport as a distance runner doesn't help me get swole either. But as a distance runner, the first sport I do in high school is swimming. I try out with my sister and make the team with ease because the tryouts are determined by your fitness on land and two swimming times. My swimming times are I, but the coach was watching me clap the whole team on land. I don't know what was going through the coach's head, but I think she was like, if I can convert this kid from a gazelle to a fish, then it'd be great. So I made the team and my sister was my transportation. We practiced on land three times a week. I'm one of those tryhards when it comes to training, so I was out for blood on land, but the two days in water, I was struggling not to drown. Our school swim team has been undefeated for six years in a row, and there's a reason for that. Our coach tries to murder us during practice. We were lucky if we didn't swim in an amount of sprints equivalent to a mile. I made my team look like children on a track but in the pool, I was left to drown. Now before this first swim practice after cutoffs, I was playing steal the bacon with my friend. The goal of the game is to get a ball to your side of the field at all costs. And my friend fell over onto the ground and I dove over him so I wouldn't trample him. I landed on my hand and I broke it. It took a good five hours to realize it was broken though. And so, I kind of just went on about my day, um, but I found out later that I just damaged my ligaments and I can crack my wrist now. But uh, this shut down half of my swim season, and um, this is what I'd be known for the whole on the whole swim team. And uh, I was just known as the guy who broke his wrist before swim season. But I got out of my cast for the halfway uh, in the season meet. And oh boy, did I get destroyed. I just clearly remember finishing last in the 500 meter event. And it was my first time swimming a race that long. And in the longest race of the meet. So people had to just watch me. Uh, so they could continue the meet. It took me almost 9 minutes to finish. And uh... And that's not a great time. Um, I practice all the way to county, um, the final meet, but only slightly improving my times. A few days before the last meet, I developed bronchitis, and it didn't affect my practice because I could breathe, and then I'd cough as I swam. Um, it didn't slow me down because I'm supposed to breathe out underwater, so it just worked out. Um, but I still went to the doctor because I was coughing almost 24-7, and the doctor handed me the holy grail of medication, steroids. I didn't realize that it's steroids at first. I'm just like, okay, cool. And um, I was able to breathe. The day of the swim meet, I finished off the last two steroids. Now, because of all my previous times, I was in the slowest heat. And for strategic reasons to win the meet, my coach pit me in the 50 meter and 100 meter. Um, the first event was a 50 meter, and I absolutely demolished my heat. I originally thought, well, I tried, but I looked behind me and the people in my heat uh, were just coming out of their flip turns. I ended up with a 26 second time and my place was like six. Um, overall, against the whole county, I, I had no clue why I improved so much at first. Um, but next was the 100 meter. And I've never swam this event until now, but the same thing happened. I went Super Saiyan on my heat, and um, at first I thought they could keep up with me, but I ended up 25 meters ahead, and uh, some by even greater length. 
my time has put me in the fastest heat for both events and I ended placing six for both I think um on my way home my mom uh, enlightened me that I was on steroids but I didn't care I destroyed people's dreams of winning their heats and the power of drugs and I'm so glad that in high school you don't get drug tested because I think my times would have been nullified thanks for watching to the end if you enjoyed please subscribe and have a good rest of your day.